Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we are going to do the falsy bouncer challenge. Um, and uh, it's, um, it's going to be quite a, a simple challenge. Uh, you're going to learn uh, a new method that you haven't seen uh, before. Uh, but let's uh, go over the uh, challenge instructions and look at uh, some of the example tests before we go on. So remove all falsy values from an array. Okay, what's a falsy value? Falsy values in JavaScript are false, null, the integer 0, an empty string, undefined, and NAN. That stands for not a number. Uh, and if we look at the test here, we have an array of different values. So we have the integer 7, the string 8, uh, the, um, the, the past tense of E, I should say. We have an empty string, the Boolean false, and the integer 9. And uh, basically it's going to return a new array, but uh, only of the so-called truthy values. Um, it removed the empty string and the false value, which is considered a falsy value. And uh, again, we have an array of strings, a, b, and c, and it returns the same thing, a, b, and c. They're all truthy values. Um, you can look at this one here. All falsy values, false, null, zero, not a number, undefined, empty string, and it just returns an um, empty array. So um, basically, uh, they're going to give us uh, one suggested uh, array method called filter. So with that, um, let's go ahead and jump into the uh, text editor. Uh, I've already created a JavaScript file, uh, 13 underscore falsy underscore uh, bouncer. Dot js and did I spell that correctly? No. Okay. There's. Uh, let me change this here. Okay. Save that and then I'm gonna rename it. Okay. Rename it to. Okay. Just a minor thing. I'm kind of a nerd about this sort of stuff. Oops. I didn't change it. Rename. All right. So. Okay. There we go. Uh, so with that, um, let's just uh, get started. Uh, I've got my example.html file uh, opened up uh, here. Uh, I'm going to open up the developer tools. And here's the JavaScript console. Great. All right. So I believe this is called, yeah, Bouncer. Okay. So I'm going to set it up. Bouncer. It's going to take an array. Okay, we'll just do our code here, and then as usual, all right, let's see, I'm just going to copy this and put it in my console.log so we can see the results as usual. Okay. All right. So um, before we get started, um, I just need to explain, um, you know, truthy and falsy values. Um, everything in, in JavaScript is um, is considered uh, is considered an object. Um, I guess you can you know say nearly everything is an object. Um, in some of these objects, a lot of them actually, uh, they are truthy. Um, you know you're familiar with the boolean values true and false already, but everything uh, I mean many things evaluate to uh, to true in JavaScript. So let me um, let me just um, show you something kind of cool. All right, so uh, you know this. So if um, 5 is greater than 3, return um, this is true, OK? And else, return this is false. OK, so I'm going to save this. And if we go to the Cons, uh, the Chrome, okay, it says this is true, all right? So you've seen, you know, um, if conditionals like this before uh, with comparison operators, greater than, less than, greater than, or equal to, uh, double equal, triple equal, and so forth. Um, and this, this returns a truthy value. But you can do this with just plain old objects without any sort of comparison done whatsoever. So I'm going to remove the greater than three. 
and just if five. Okay, what do you think is going to happen? Well, let's save this. Let's go to the browser. And the same result. This is true. And uh, let's go ahead and let's put in a string. Hello. Okay, same result. This is true. And let's go ahead and uh, we'll do an empty string now. This is false. Okay, so uh, not just like uh, two values being compared to one another um, with like uh, the equal sign or triple or double equals, whatever. You can just drop a single object uh, into an if clause like this and it will evaluate. Um, and most of the time it's going to be true, but if it's one of these values, false, null, zero, empty string, undefined, or not a number, then um, it's going to evaluate to false. So uh, with that, we can begin looking at our uh, filter array method. Okay, so to set it up, we got array, right, that filter, and we have to pass in an anonymous function as an argument. Okay. And it takes a one argument, this anonymous function. We'll just call it item. Okay, great. So basically, the uh, the filter array, um, it, it uh, you, you put in like a, a some sort of test, like a it can be a comparisons test, an equality test, really anything, and um, it's going to return a new array. Uh, if it passes the test. So I'm going to uh, say something like if item equals 7, okay, well I'm not actually saying if, but I'm going to return any value in here where the item, okay, the item in the array is equal to 7, okay, and I'm just going to return this like that, okay, save it, go to the JavaScript file, Okay, so I get an array, and I have a single number in there, 7, because it goes through each item in the array, and it does this kind of check, this equality check. Does the item equal exactly 7? Oh, it does? Okay, we're going to return that and put it in a new array. Does the string 8 equal 7? No, of course not. Totally different things. All right, seven is not an empty string, it's not false, and it certainly is not nine. So going back to our previous example, when we can just drop single values in, um, in, uh, in our if condition, and you know you saw earlier, if five, it returned true, because five is an object, and it's a truthy object. It has a truthy value. With that in mind, I can just simply write this return item, and it will return all of the truthy items, because, look, uh, well, let's just run it first. And there we go. We have 7, the string 8, and the 9. Okay, so basically, all right, it's going to go through each of these items, and it will determine if it's true or false. 7 is an integer. It's not 0, so this is truthy. Return it to the new array. This is a string, but it's not an empty string. That's truthy. Put it in the new array. Okay, we have an empty string here, and that's a falsy value. It doesn't pass our test, so it gets excluded. We're going to filter that out. Same thing with this. This is a Boolean value, false. It's a falsy value, so we're also going to filter that out. And uh, we have the integer 9. Hey, this is greater than zero, so this is also um, this is also a truthy value. I guess I just caught myself. Um, I, I wonder if negative values are also truthy. Let's see. Okay, so I misspoke earlier. I said if it's greater than zero, it must be truthy. Uh, my mistake. It can be a positive or a negative integer, but only zero. Is, uh, is a falsy, and let's try that. Okay, yeah, so zero is excluded. All right, and that is what happens. And I just notice here, seven, eight, 
nine. Okay, so that's a kind of a clever joke that the guys at Free Code Camp uh, put into one of their challenges. Get it seven, eight, nine. The past tense of eat, eight. Sounds like the number eight, seven, eight, nine. Anyway, kind of dumb. So <laughs> let's go back and I'm just going to uh, copy my work here and just put it in Free Code Camp to make sure that it works. Okay, let me fix the indentation to make it readable. Run that test and look at that. Passed with flying colors. Okay, great. So um, you can use the um, filter method for, for virtually anything um, to, to do a strict equality, to do uh, greater than or equal to. Uh, basically, you can set up any sort of test and we know that uh, just evaluating an object will will return a boolean value true or false and so um, we don't need to set up any sort of long chain of conditions if it equals to a false or a null or a zero we don't have to do any of that just one simple little line and the filter method takes care of the rest okay so that's all for this video i told you it was going to be very short and sweet um and thank you so much for watching we've only got uh three more challenges remaining in the basic algorithm scripting section at freecodecamp.com. And uh, in a few days, we will be uh, jumping into the intermediate uh, challenges, um, which are going to be a little meatier, but, um, but uh, also a lot of fun, I hope. Uh, so as usual, um, please like or share uh, or subscribe to this channel. It helps me out. It's going to help you out, and it's going to help out the, the people at freecodecamp.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, please write them uh, below, and I promise to respond. Okay, guys, that's all, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.